Hi everyone, welcome back. So today's video is going to be another holiday look. This one is a little bit more smoky and dramatic than my last holiday look, but it does still include a classic red lip. Obviously you can change the lip to whatever one you prefer, but today we have a really nice golden kind of halo spotlight eye. I wanted to do something classic with like a gold eye and a red lip because I feel like that's just quintessential holiday look, but I wanted to do a little bit of a twist on it, so I decided to do a halo eye, which basically means the outer and the inner corners of the eye are um, blown out and smoky and darker and then the center is like the focal point with a nice pop of color or glitter or something like that. So in this case it is a gold pop of glitter in the middle. I paired it with this really nice bright cherry red lip which I think is perfect for any holiday party or just to hang out in your living room on Christmas like I will be doing. In this video we will be using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition um, Textured Shadows Palette which I am currently obsessed with and I recommend it to everyone. And then we're also going to be using a few different brushes from both Morphe and Sigma that I recently got, um, which I ended up loving all of the ones I used in this video. So I'm super excited about that because when it comes to my brush game, I kind of keep it um, pretty typical. Like I use the same brushes over and over again because they always work for me, but I'm very happy with the ones that I use today. So I'm excited to have some new brushes in my collection. But yeah, guys, I've been filming this video for so long because there have been some technical difficult, not even technical dif difficulties, just life difficulties. <laughs> I had to call my parents in the middle of the video and have them co come over and help me. So it's been kind of a dramatic night, but I'm very excited that I finished this video because I'm really happy with how the look turned out and I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure that if you do enjoy it, that you give this video a big thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button so that you can see more of my videos in the future. And without any further ado, let's just jump right into the makeup tutorial. Okay guys, so we're going to start on the eyes today. I already primed my lids and did my brows just to get that out of the way, but I will list everything I use down below. We are going to jump into the Huda Beauty, um, what is this called? The Textured Eyeshadow Palette Rose Gold Edition. I'm obsessed with this thing. It is so, so gorgeous and I'm super excited to use it. We're going to start off with this shade down here called Sandalwood on an E40 brush from Sigma. And we're going to just buff this right into the upper crease area. This is going to help us start our transition into our other colors and help everything nicely blend together. So you're just going to go ahead and do nice big circular motions with this shade and make sure it's nice and blown out. Um, you can be super messy with this step. It's really just important that it's nice and blown out. Okay, now we're going to take a new brush for me. This is the Morphe E13 brush. It's kind of like a fluffier version of the E25 from Sigma, or like a bigger version. And I'm going to take that same sandalwood shade, and we're just going to build up this intensity in the crease. And using the same shade in two different brushes and kind of building on top of it is going to give you a really, really easy gradient effect because it is the same color, but building the intensity is just going to add some more dimension without the trouble of blending two colors together. I really, really like this brush. It is nice. Now I'm going to go into the shade called Henna on another new brush for me. This is the E44 Firm Blender from Sigma. Uh, and this Henna shade is just kind of a darker, um, like brick red brown shade. And we're just going to start this on the outer corner and work it into the crease and then build it on the inner corner as well. And then meet those two points in the center. Now I'm going to take this Morphe brush, the M507, and I'm going to go into this dark brown shade over here called Coco. I'm going to go right on the outer corner and the inner corner again and meet them in the middle, but because this is a smaller brush, it's going to be a little bit more tapered and once again building on that gradient effect on the outer and inner corner of this eye. And then using that same brush, I'm just going to take a little bit of black truffle and we're going to very, very carefully place that on the very like inner portion of the outer and inner corner just to add some definition. But we're not going to meet it in the middle, we're just going to keep it on the outer and inner corner once again to add more definition and just a little bit of darkness. And then right under the brow bone, I'm going to go in with a little bit of a mixture of Bay and Moon Dust. And I'm putting this on an E32 Exact Blend brush from Sigma. I'm just going to pop that right under the brow. Okay, and I'm going to try a brush for this step, but I have a feeling I'm just going to end up using my finger because I like that better with foil shadows. But I'm going to try the E57 Firm Shader Brush with this gold shade in the palette called 24K. And we're going to pop that right on the center of the lid as our spotlight. 
And then just to add a little bit of touch of sparkle, I'm gonna take this Stila Foil Shadow in Metallic Pixie Dust just on my finger and I'm gonna pat this right over the center of the eye. It just adds a little bit more of like a dimensional glitter to this eye. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a winged liner using the NYC Liquid Eyeliner in black. This is my favorite liquid liner for putting over foiled shadows or glitters because it really covers them and the glitters don't really peek through. Okay, now that I have a winged liner, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some false lashes. I'm gonna use the Ardell Wispies. These are a gorgeous pair. They're not too much, but they add a little something to the looks. Um, I just want the world to know that I took a 20 minute break because I think there's a mouse in my apartment and my parents are currently on their way over to save me from it, just in case. So, you know, when you think you're adulting, but you're really not. So now we're gonna move on to the face. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer to prime my skin. Okay, I realized I wasn't recording when I put that on. This is the Hourglass um, Vanish Stick Foundation. And then I'm just gonna take a few drops of this um, Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. This stuff is very full coverage, so you really, ooh, only need a little. Today we're gonna try this new Molly Cosmetics um, silicone it's basically like one of those chicken cutlet things for your boobs, but people, I mean, it's meant to like put on your makeup. So we're gonna see how this works. I, I don't know how I feel about this. It feels just so weird and slippery cause like I'm used to the beauty blender absorbing some stuff. So I might have way too much foundation on because I'm used to the beauty blender like absorbing some of it. This is too much for me. I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and you know, act regular. Thank you so much. You are a lifesaver beauty blender. Okay, and for under eye concealer, I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer. This is the shade R22. And then I'm just gonna set that concealer with some loose powder. And then I'm just gonna dust a little bit of this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural all over my face just to set everything in place. To bronze and contour, I'm going to take the Black Opal Oil Observing Press Powder in the shade Dark Cocoa on the F23 um, Soft Angled Contour Brush from Sigma. And then for blush, I'm going to go in with Damsel Fly by Becca. And I'm going to put that on the F40 brush. And then for highlight, I'm going to go in with Opal by Becca, and I'm going to put that on this M510 brush from Morphe. Mmm, I like this brush. And for the lower lash line, we're gonna kind of mimic what we did on the top of the eye. So I'm gonna go in with that exact blend brush from Sigma and I'm gonna go into Sandalwood. And I'm just gonna buff this all along the lower lashes. Then I'm gonna go in with this M507 brush in the shade Henna. And I'm gonna pop that on the outer and inner corners. And then I'm gonna take a flat definer brush. This is the E15 from Sigma. I'm gonna go into Coco. And I'm gonna press this right in to the lower lash line, but once again on the inner and outer corners. And then I'm gonna take my pinky finger and I'm gonna go into 24K. And I'm gonna pop this right on the center of the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with metallic pixie dust again, that steel of foiled shadow, and I'm gonna take it on my finger and just pop this right on the inner corners of the eye. And you can also put it right on top of where you put 24K on the lower lashes. Just to add a little bit of dimensional glitter like we did on top. Then I'm just going to finish up the eyes with a coat of mascara on my lower lashes. And now for lips, I'm going to do a matte red, very classic holiday. I'm going to be using um, Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Underage Red. They don't make the shade anymore, but I will find um, the closest dupe that they have, and I will link it down below. I don't know why they don't make the shade anymore. I'm very upset about it, but I'm sure that they have a very comparable color because this is a classic red. I don't see what, how they wouldn't have it, um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Okay, and once you apply your lip and perfect your lip line, I didn't really do a good job at it right now. Um, you can let your hair down and your look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and at the end of this video so that you can keep up to date with all of my new videos and you can see my face a lot more often. I hope you all have really happy holidays and I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.